Like, imagine that you've got the coronavirus, you yeah. have all that sort of stuff, and it's just like, what's the new big disease trend? Shitting and pissing yourself. <laughs> oh, shit myself again. Oh, forgot me piss sack again. <laughs> Proper bow, I tell you. So, welcome to the John Mayer Appreciation Podcast. <laughs> right, well, I'm leaving then. <laughs> Does that mean he's not coming on then? Um, if it's anything to do with him. No, it's not. Like, I like it's two bit... songs by him, but that's all I'll accept. Anything else, even if it's good, I'm just going to be like, that shit. You must have been really disappointed then when I started liking him, because you didn't. I never liked him from high school. I've never heard of him. Yeah. I got sent, I got sent his albums over MSN. That's saw, how I received his albums and that's how I listened to them. I saw something the other day. Um, it was like a tweet when someone said, once you signed out for MSN from the last time. <laughs> like, how depressing is that? Like, I actually, I, I said that at work the other day saying, oh, you, you would have signed out of MSN yeah. for the last time and they went, when? Yeah, well, it's different I was like, how am I going to know? Yeah. Did we, yeah. we didn't do it. We weren't mates then, were we, MSN? Days. We, yeah, we were. Well, we, we didn't MSN. As we much. were. We, we were the Skype. We did Skype a lot. No, we did Skype, but we had MSN. Yeah. Like because you used to have like your name. What's your, 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 your addy mate? You used to have, uh, you used to have <laughs> your addy mate. Because it was but a dress. You used, dress, to, you used it? to go on underneath, and it, you always used to put your friends on there. Yeah. Just like the more friends you had, the more cool you were. Yeah, exactly. So I always used to have like two. Yeah, yeah. We we'll just like, keep repeating the names. It so used to eat, and like the thing is, and if you moved your friends around, whoever was higher up the list, yeah. it's like, oh look at me, I'm number two on his. Yeah, list. <laughs> that was bad. Did you, did you ever do like Bebo and Pixo and all that? Never did Bebo or Pixo. I didn't have it. I didn't have the internet till year oh, yeah. eight or nine. That would have been around that time, wouldn't it? Just before maybe. Yeah, I, I I used to have internet on a T-Mobile dongle stick. It wasn't actually like Wi-Fi today. What was it like? It was just Hotspot financial. In. It's purely financial. Like, yeah. like that's all it was, and that's all we literally we could afford at the at the time was just like a tiny little dongle stick, and that's how I managed to literally go on the internet. Mm. I was a dosser, and you still are. <laughs> I lost my hair. Yeah. That's how dossy I am. <laughs> You can't even afford hair, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'd, I'd do anything for it back. No, you haven't. Oh, I think oh you're my god, it. no, it's that that meme where he's crying. It's yeah, just like, I, feel just like pure sh- I just I feel like pure shit. Just want my hair back. <laughs> god, yeah, but looking back though, just before you shaved it, it was it was dreadful. horrendous. <laughs> you looked I've like we had... just picked up someone off the street and went, "You want to come on holiday with us?" <laughs> I, <laughs> you, you were that man. I always, I always think that the like neck down, I've always been pretty cool. But like hair's hair's never really been no one, a strong point of mine. No one who ever says I feel like I was cool from the neck down is cool from the neck down. <laughs> no, like, cl- no, like clothes wise, like I've always wore, wore like West Brom shirt. Sure. I wear them on match days. <laughs> but like, like just normal clothes. I've always thought like I quite like mm. like at the moment I'm into to like, make up re- for it. retro stuff. But <laughs> yeah, to make up for own shit hair. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's definitely not. Do you remember when we used to go Primark and buy them Converse for a tenner? And then swap them, but yeah. you had a much wider foot than me. Yeah, so, so what I, I, I always got my my shoe back, and my right foot was just <laughs> like a fucking flipper, <laughs> flipper boy. Yeah, we've had some good times. Those, those were the days when we used to when we did work experience, weren't it? Yes, you worked at Pizza Hut, and I worked at Subway. Yeah, I stayed. Yeah, I was loyal. And you're still I, there. I was loyal to Subway. What, were you, what did you say that time when you were at work? Like, uh, the Lord of the Rings reference when you're like. Oh um yeah no, I mean, it, it got it got really bit it got really really busy once like all the customers were coming in and um <laughs> like me and me and Marcus are in the back like looking at each other me and Marcus obviously really like Lord of the Rings and the whole count was full and they were all serving and I just went fear the counter rank with it <laughs> it sounds even better on them mics than it fear <laughs> do <laughs> makes you notice doesn't it a little bit of darkness refines the senses Sharpens the, the mind. mind. You're about to enjoy no, it, no, the big screen experience. It's time to enjoy with no distractions. And when he goes, warm, 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 it's like, we get it, mate, your speakers. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I hate that thing. But well, then they never play, like, films are never like that basically, or never. 
No. You don't hear the full scope of them? No. The only time it's ever bassy is if it's a concert mm. or Star Wars. Sosmi charges. What, um, apart from editors, what else have you got concert wise? Concert wise, well, editors is actually this Saturday, as which, you know, because we're going. Which will hopefully be tomorrow if you're watching this on Friday, which no one will because. Because this channel hasn't got there yet. <laughs> but if you're watching this in five years' time, because this channel's massive, we saw editors. Yeah. A few days from when this was recorded. <laughs> My timeline's getting foot. <laughs> in the past, we've seen them in the future tomorrow. <laughs> um, Last week. I'm trying to think what else I've actually got coming up. I've got. When, uh, where are no, we seeing the editors? The Manchester Apollo. Manchester. Manchester Apollo. We're going to see the editor. <laughs> it was supporting him, do you know? Hmm? Do you know who's supporting no, him? Uh, no idea. So, probably someone's shit. But no, we've got that <laughs> and then. Um, I've got. I'm sitting May. Going to see Foles with Harvey. That's in the first week in May. Oh, before that, I've, I see Simple Minds for the fourth time with my dad. Because you, you're a simple mind. Yeah, I'm thick. Um, no, and then Download Festival. Yeah. Yeah. Because so I get to see like I Maiden, Disturbed, Corn, Kiss. System of a Down. Disturbed. The darkness. No. Disturbed the corn. No, disturbed corn kiss. That's what you said. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it, like a few of us. And then a week later, it's uh, my definitely going to be my gig of the year. Like Rammstein. Oh, I just, fuck, I forgot I just, about that. I just can't. I, I can't still can't believe you. Have you got in that fuel fire zone thing? Fire zone, yeah. Have you? Like, that's the front, yeah. But they were, but the tickets for Rammstein were booked when, I was, when we was in Croatia. Oh, yeah. That's when they were booked. Right. And I was moaning about the price, but like it means nothing now because it was that long ago. Yeah, mate, I'm jealous. You might, I'm gonna you get might singe more of your hair I'm off. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna come back with burnt skin, <laughs> just be a crispy man. <laughs> <laughs> the gig was mint, but I have third degree burns. <laughs> that, yeah, I can't, I can't wait for that. That's just gonna be insane. Just to hear Till just go. Oh, radio. Radio. Uh, what do you want to talk about, mate? Talk about holidays. Holidays is always good. So it's Copenhagen, then what? Uh, well, for you, you got America. Yeah. If, for me, if I can afford it, you definitely can afford it. You do need to get employment soon, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't do this forever. Yeah, I can. Yeah, mate. No, I'm joking. <laughs> mate, I got thirty subscribers, mate. We're about. <laughs> yeah, they're all people you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can name all of them. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it's America. For you, I've got Porto and Munich. 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 What about next year? Hmm? What about next year? Well, hopefully we'll be doing Kiev. Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Ch Chernobyl. 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 So, <laughs> <laughs> try and say everywhere we've been, but wrong. Copenhagen. I was going to say Tenerife, <laughs> but like you didn't go... Uh, Malta, <laughs> Malta, Cro Croatia, Amsterdam, Amsterdam, <laughs> Amsterdam. I don't know. Oh, I thought of a good thing. Croatia. Today. <laughs> I thought of a good thing today. Would you rather, at any point in every day of your life from now on, shit yourself or piss yourself? Definitely piss. You think? Because it's just liquid. Like yeah, but then you have to change your pants. Even if you shit yourself, you're going to have to change your pants. No, if it's a dry one, you can just pick it up and lob it. <laughs> it's pretty tough, that one. No, I'd, I'd say piss myself because I could wear shorts and then just dangle my end out. No, but you don't know when it is going to be. You could be in like a meeting or something. You start pissing. I just wear shorts 24-7. I think that would be the solution yeah. to the if ever that become a world problem. <laughs> Like, imagine that you've got the coronavirus, you yeah. have all that sort of stuff, and it's just like, what's the new big disease trend? Shitting and pissing yourself. <laughs> oh, shit myself again. Oh, forgot me piss sack again. <laughs> Proper boa telly. <laughs> yes. I love thinking of them would you rather, though. Uh, I'd, off the cusp, but it's like, would you rather... I couldn't burn think of... Burn burn. Would you either... The obvious one is, would you rather burn to death or drown? I think the searing agony of burning to death would put me off. <laughs> that was going at the start of the, <laughs> the podcast. Um, 
But then drowning though, you're like yeah, but you're gasping you for air and it's it. and it's over. There. You can't stop being burnt to death. Either no, you... way, the the salute, the end of the, this, what happens is you're dead. Yeah. But would you rather go through the searing, crisping barbecue agony, <laughs> or or just gasp for breath one or two times and have your eyes pop out your head? I'd rather. I'd rather drown. I mean, I'd rather not die at all. But like, <laughs> we can make that happen. Yeah, just like, uh, how about we just don't burn to yeah, death yeah. or drown? Not burning for me, I think. And then red wine for, for me, I think. <laughs> I think you out of all of our mates, me and you quote the most films, I think. Uh, half of our conversations are based around film quotes. I do I do love movies. Most, most of the ones are Lord of the Rings, I think. I could recite that film from yeah, start don't. to end, as I've done many times, <laughs> and will do many times in the future. The thing is, I could not see that film for a year or two, and then if if it was on, I could literally quote along with it to the end. Yeah, it's insane into easy. your head, isn't it? I just uh, they're my favourite films, so I I love them films. Lord of the Rings or Star Wars in terms of film music. See, my favourite film score of all time is Star Wars Episode 3. Yeah, okay. That's just period for me, but I, I'm I'm a sucker for a choir yeah. on, on film scores because was the, it, um... the opening, Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows, the part two, the start, you know when Snape stood in that arch and it's, Lily's, it's, paying, it's yeah, playing Lily's, Lily's theme. theme and it's like got the choir going over the top. Mm. I, I love that like, yeah. anything to do with that I think choirs add like an emotional sort of thing yeah. to it because it's human have you I watched in the last podcast with Barrett about Interstellar and how they use that pipe organ I love that as but well. they were like they want to use that because it's like it's air it's breathing it's almost human it's like yeah. it adds that human element and it's like well, is it, that, it was on we was we watched the whole like making of that score yeah. with Han, um, Hans Zimmer wasn't mm. it where they're in that church and they're trying to he's he's trying to figure out where to yeah. get the best recording yeah. for that organ. Like that that in yeah. itself is just insane. Um what was I gonna say then? Uh, yes. What would be your number one person from Lord of the Rings to share a pint with? Not share a pint with, go for a pint with. Gimli. Okay. Because he oh no, saying ah. Oh. There's, yeah, there's definitely a, not Legolas because in, the, be ex- boring as fuck, in the extended version, have you seen it where um, in the extended version it's got Legolas and Gimli having a shag? Like a, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for the fans out there. <laughs> um, they're like having and my the, the, axe <laughs> and just gets his knob out. <laughs> gets his axe wound out. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it, it, like drinking. Your friends are with you, Aragorn. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is this is my turn to speak. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> and basically, just Gimli's just absolutely pissed, and then I'm pretty sure he is pissed like, for most of the film. Yeah, Legolas is just like I'm getting a slight twinge in my finger, and then he's just, and then it cuts to Gimli, and he's going, no, oh, he can't hold his drink, yeah. <laughs> no, and then jump, <laughs> and it just collapses. Yeah, yeah. but the, probably no, I'd probably say Gimli or Merry and Pippin, one of the two. Yeah. I think, I think they'd be good. But conversation-wise, I'd like to listen to Gandalf's tales. But do you not think, like, uh, what film franchise do you reckon is best for people to have pints with? Lord of the Rings has got to be up there. But Star Wars would be pretty cool as well. Mm, we're going for a no, pint. because no, cause they're all goody-goody, aren't they? Jedis. They've yeah. got very strict... No, but it not have to be Jedis. It could be, like, one car plot. <laughs> uh, one quarter portion... <laughs> What about the droid? Yeah. I'll pay for him. There's someone has a sip out of his pint. That's mine! <laughs> That's mine! <laughs> but I'd, I think overall, Star Wars would be pretty poor. It would, compared to Lord of the Rings, for sure. I'm um, trying to think of like film, film franchises, people to go for pints with. Films, not TV shows. Anything, really. But Game again, of team, Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Tyrion. Yeah. I think that would be bro- yeah just yeah both of them yeah Podrick <laughs> Pod. I, I, I just don't I generally think Game of Thrones are probably the best but not a lot of film franchises like MCU would be pretty bull- boring yeah, yeah it would what you, what's, Bond what's the next MCU film to come out Black Widow it's, no it's this summer isn't it mm, prequel and then it's Black Widow and then it's The Eternals yeah 
I think. I think it's two this year. Because yeah. they was making three a year, but I think it's not two now. They've not announced another Avengers yet, have they? They're not going to do another Avengers for a while, I don't think. Disney Plus is out soon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Or is it out now? What's End of this month. It's out. It's like five ninety nine. It's expensive, but like you should see the amount of stuff they got in it, like Nat Geo, Star Wars. Nat Geo. Nat Geo. Pixar. <laughs> Star Wars. I'm fucking mad for it. Bit of Pixar. Bit of Nat Geo. What are you watching? <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> we need to do a full podcast in Mank, don't we? Going to Manchester. Yeah. You're mad for it. Yeah. yeah. Total scenario. Aye. This is a podcast and welcome to Total Scenario. <laughs> you know me, Sam. Shooting Even shit. Even though I'm not Sam. It's been 10 years now, mate. We've been mates, haven't it? 10 years too much yeah brilliant I mean I'm here talking to you via a microphone that's where our friendship has got to <laughs> it's got to the point of not like actual yeah. conversation it's just like I want to record this yeah 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 that'd yeah, be worth it let's talk about soccer soccer I was comfortable before. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's one of them you keep moving and it's just... like moving, it's just like, ugh. Yeah. Where's the best angle? <laughs> I can't get. Can you hear me if I talk into the wall? It's not working, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to ask you now a question about soccer. Yeah. About f- football, the game that we all love. For eh. Ha- right, because I honestly think, I've obviously followed football my entire, like, religiously. F- yeah. For my entire life, I feel like you've got into football recent a lot more recently in the, have. probably the past I've two always, or three years. I've always been into it, but when when it was when we were towards the end of high school, I just would rather go out than stay in and watch a footy game on Saturday. I'd still watch match of the day. I still care about it, but going out was more important to me. I used to watch football a lot when I was younger as well. It's, it's an availability thing. If someone says, if there's a massive gathering at the pub and there's 15 of us going, or it's a Premier League game in the week, I'd go to the pub. Depends who it is. Yeah. If they are, if, if well, for depends, me, if, depends who goes to the pub or depends who the game is. Both. Yeah. Both. Say you're going to the pub, I'm not going. Yeah. <laughs> no, if if it's if it was ever West Brom, yeah, I'd always probably choose the game. Yeah. If. It was a choice between mates or West Brom. Like, I'm sorry, but use a second. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. It's the way you've been brought up. Because, like, I wasn't brought up to sort of, say, follow this team. Like, my dad mentioned it yesterday. He was talking to his dad about it. And his dad said, why do they support Liverpool, Tom and Sam? And my dad was saying to him, and I didn't know it, this is how it happened. So my dad was like, right, who do you want to support? Asking Tom who he wants to support. And he was like, can I support United? Because United were meant at that time. And my dad was like, yeah, you can, but I'll never buy you anything to do with them. <laughs> like, you're not allowed, basically. So he's like, right, okay. And we never wanted to support his which because they were just shit. But this is... But that's the but, thing, like, the t- I've always grown up, when I was growing up, West Brom were, in 96 anyway, were terrible. Yeah. I mean, obviously, people take the mick out of because I'm... You're terrible as well. No. We're not terrible. We're are good. you? I'm terrible. I agree with that, but but like I always get the mix because our friendship group, the, those who like football, it's either Manchester United or Liverpool. Yeah, I'd say, and then there's me. He supports yeah. West Brom. Yeah, like I think that's uh, that's weird, like compared well, they, to everyone else. But like that's that's just how I I was brought yeah. up. Like a family of West Brom fans and Villa fans. Yeah, we hate them. But like your, it goes past. I'm guessing your dad's generation as well, and it keeps going. Yeah, my well, but like my dad's an Ipswich fan. My dad's dad isn't, so it's like it's very. There isn't a tradition to follow in a way. Yeah, my my, as far as I know, my my nan, uh, and granddad. Like obviously, you know my my granddad. Mm. Don't, did, you, did you ever meet my nan? No, but no. I know your granddad's like extremely brummy. Yeah, so. they, they are. Like they're obviously all from Birmingham. But my granddad and my nan got married my nan supported west brom my granddad supports aston villa so like they're two rivals like in clubs that don't that, like each other like, can you make kiss the bride you fucking book <laughs> <laughs> when when my uncle was born he he was a villa fan this is a story that i've been told 
it, like he was a Villa fan and therefore my cousin is also a Villa mm. fan. But when my dad was born, because he was the younger of the two brothers, like my nan was basically saying, this one's mine and West yeah. Brom. And then obviously I was born. Fair, so yeah. my dad's made me follow West Brom. And yeah, Andrews, it's a territory. It's not a territory. It's like an army thing. It's like you're building up your troops, isn't it? I might do yes. that with my kid. I'm like, if they want to support Everton, I might just kill them. Yeah. Start again. <laughs> get new ones. Just get a new child. Yeah. It's just like, come on, love. Let's start again. Yeah. This one's dud. Yeah. <laughs> 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 What's, I'm pretty sure there's a skit like that like oh fucking hell the baby's he's, oh he's Michael McIntyre I think oh the baby's just dead like oh fucking hell is that not Ricky Gervais <laughs> oh yeah yeah it is he, where he kicks Jane. it yeah yeah where he kicks it dead yeah <laughs> fucking shit that one <laughs> start again no but I'm, I've never been like that like I don't I don't not like any teams the way I see it is if there's if you hate other teams well there needs to be other teams I can give you a few that I dislike I know. I can give you obviously Aston Villa and Wolves are two teams that I just like. Just I just don't yeah. like for like literally the Derby. Per- I would never want them to go out of business or liquidation because they love Derby Day. Yeah, but if do you love Derby Day. But you're attached to West Brom as a place. I'm not attached to Liverpool as a place. The I'm reason not really we're attached to it as a place. Well, I, I'm attached to the club. But saying that every no, time, but your, your local rivals. Yeah, every Brom. every t- every time I do go down to Birmingham and stuff like that, obviously West Bromwich is right next to Birmingham. Every time I go down there, it's like, in a weird way, it's like going home. Yeah, because like, you've because fa- obviously so. family and all that sort of stuff, and you know a lot about the place. Yeah, but like, yeah, I like I don't like Villa and Wolves because mm. of the rivals, and I also don't like a few teams. Like I don't like Manchester City. No, I don't. I absolutely not hate, a team. I hate Manchester City just because of the. Just the, they tried just the, bought everything. Chelsea the same. I'm not really a big fan of Chelsea, but I do no. like Lampard, so I don't mind him as much. This I season. like United more than I do say. I I just think Man United are Man United, and no one ever likes them. A Liverpool fans annoy me this season and last season. Like I yeah, quite, I quite like I I like Jurgen Klopp, and I'd like Liverpool. I'd like them to win the league this season because like. I think they deserve it. And I have no problems with the Scousers. It's the fake fans that jump on the bandwagon yeah. after they won the European Cup last year. Yeah. They just get on my nerves. Like, because I guarantee our half, most of them hardly ever been to a game. Don't, mm-hmm. f- they just see the result and go, ah. Yeah. Like. But like, I, when we started, it was, Tom said to my dad, like, right, if I can't support United, then um, he, I think Tom went to look at the England team and he was like, I like the look of Michael Owen. He's good. He scored some cool goals. He's he's decent or whatever. And he went, who, does he, who does he play for? Liverpool. Like, can I support Liverpool then? He's like, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I was about like two. He was like, I was like, yeah. Liverpool, Liverpool. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yes, I'll support <laughs> Liverpool then. Yeah, it was good. They were good days. But like, that's the thing. Remember, remember, like, football always gives you that sort of like, especially if you do follow a team and really follow that team. It gives you so like England in the well, World Cup. Yeah, I've always followed them every year, but just England some in the years World Cup. Like, how good was that feeling when yeah. when we was in Malta? Like that sort of feeling. Yeah. Like, nothing will ever top that. Or when Trippier put that free kick in. Yeah. Just stuff like that. But like, you'll get Sto- when Story scored against Wales in the um, yeah. Euros. Oh, that was amazing as well. Is that Euros? Yeah, twenty sixteen. But like with football, like with you, because you're gonna win the league this year. Obviously, you won the Champions League. You'll get like that. Buzz. Yeah. You- I, got, I got a buzz when West, we were certainly down two years ago. We were certainly You're relegated. We we played Manchester United and beat them at Old Trafford. We were dead and buried bottom, like 10 points from Was this before safety. you got Darren Moore? Or- this is, that was his first game was against Manchester United. and We beat them 1-0 at their place to save ourselves. We would have got relegated if we dropped points. Week after, relegated if we'd lose. And, and, we, and we beat Newcastle 1 0. So, two back to back 1 0s. We then played Liverpool, who were going into the Champions League final, getting ready for that. Yeah. And we drew 2 2 at home with them. Like, bearing in mind, they were insane, starting to become insanely good. And then uh, the week after, like, just again, if we, if we lost these games, we're relegated. And we played Tottenham, and we was at it mine. Was, yeah. And. It was just like was it too old? It was nil nil for the entire game. But like I thought, oh, if we drop point, we're down, we're down. And then like we got we scored in like the ninety fourth minute, 
like it was a scrap, and I'd, scrappy I'd, goal, wasn't it? And like I knew it was pretty much down, but like the feeling of that yeah. feeling when that ball went in, it was just like I'd, I ran through my house. Yeah. Like it was, it was one of those feelings. It was an amazing feeling. Like mm. and obviously, like literally the week later, we got relegated. But don't matter. But still, we had that little burst. Yeah. Of the season, like with West Brom, like we're not gonna win anything really, like trophy, big trophy wise. In, I mean, I, in, I'd love to see us win like a League Cup in my lifetime, but like just having moments. But you've like got your that, own glory. Aren't moments you? like that, that I remember and stuff like yeah. that are awesome. Like hopefully this year, if we do get promoted, that'll be the same sort of feeling. Mm. I hope, but we'll see. Do you think with teams it works in phases? Like you know, United were good for so long, and now mm-hmm. that it's a re- rebuilding thing, do you think Always. Liverpool have had the phase that United are in now? They had that whilst had United that were good. The, whilst United were good and now Liverpool have got that phase now. Do you reckon we'll have a good few years? I think the team of the decade is Manchester City. Of the decade just gone. Like from 2010 yes. to think that's Manchester City's decade, I think, because they won. It's, it was, it was sort four. of the end of like Ferguson retiring. It was the yeah. sort of the decline of United and Manchester City started to win a few times. They're getting found out win now, City, aren't they? They're all frauds. Do you think <laughs> yeah. anyone's going to leave? I hope so. It'd be really funny. Just yeah. to see, just to see fifth place get the Champions League and City miss out because they want that Champions League more than anything. And they're playing tonight, aren't they, against Madrid? But I do want them to win that just because they're English British. in Europe. Yeah, yeah. I like the English teams to do well, except for Wolves. Yeah, and Villa. this year and Villa, but they'll never get that. <laughs> I yeah. hope. What? Um, how are you doing in the league? Top. Are you top game, games in hand and all that? No, we, we've we've got a game in hand. Like obviously everyone else, everyone else plays tonight. Mm. We won last night against Preston. Preston. But, um, We've been no, there before. Deep Dale, yeah, went Deep Dale in the early in the season when we won. Won one nil last minute penalty. Again, awesome feeling because he dived and cheated. Yeah, well, but it doesn't matter, matter because score, like the when, they, on the when they score, I remember the guy who was in the row in front of me turned to face me he was like I can't watch it yeah. I can't watch it and then like he was staring at me and he tucked it in bottom corner and when he scored he went flying like over the Did he? the chair because he was cheering he, that he much. was just going like, yeah my dad was grabbing me like I remember when we scored a last minute goal against Stoke right. it was in January 2015 2016 something like that and it was a boring game and it was 1-1 and then the last minute we played my dad I distinctly remember it was like we got a corner and my dad was like, just putting, and he played it short. And my dad went, short corners are, oh, they never work. They never work. Yeah. Anyway, it come in from the short corner and it got put in. My dad grabbed me. And I, as, as he did that, I jumped up and punched him in the face and bust <laughs> his lip open. Like, and just celebrating. It was just like, because he just turned, grabbed me. And I just went, yeah, and punched him clean like that. Yeah. And he had a bust lip for the entire, entire drive home. But it was, it was a, a two-hour journey that was worth it because yeah. you won in the last minute. You can't beat amazing. that. As a fan, what is your favourite type of goal to see your team do? Hmm. Would it be screamer or anything that goes barring in? Yeah, is always a... or when it hits the pole at the bottom where it goes the, that Harland goal yeah. oh, when mate. it just went. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like I, lo- yeah. I, I love I love. Uh, favorite goal mine is where they just start from a goal kick pass to the center half and it's just 90 passes just cut them open and then just finesse just simple as just completely ruin a team see in in my experience we've never, never really we've never really had <laughs> like yeah like we are a good football inside now like people we what got, was the we best got, west brom side when you've been alive statistically favor- oh uh, 2013 we finished eighth in the prem and we we beat we played Liverpool uh, at Anfield. I remember Gerard missed a penalty and we'd not had a shot on goal until the 80th minute where we got a corner and it come in and Gareth McCauley, bullet header, barring in. And then we won 2-0 because think... Lukaku scored as well. Yeah, 2-0 we won that game and we were, and we were awful for 80 minutes and yeah. won 2-0 away at Anfield. It was, we've always done quite well at Anfield, yeah. West Brom. Bullet Weirdly. He- Bullet headers or volleys? Bullet headers. Because I, I, volleys, like, hmm. they are amazing, but, like, 
I, I just it's such nothing. A, I, I love it when a ball gets put in and you got a defender who's just got his eyes on the ball and he comes steaming in. There you come. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I, I, I just love it. Like, oh, uh, my fa- one of my favourite bullet headers was Leicester when they won the league. At Tottenham away. And Robert Hooth. Yeah, and he, was, he was in, a man. He planted his foot and he just went... Bang! Yeah, and it went like top corner, yeah. and it was just like it just come off his. He had a square head. Do you not love it how in the World Cup when we had that tactic on the corners where they lined up? Uh, yeah, and Stones after time, right. oh. yeah, oh, I can't wait for the Euros now. Have you seen the kit? No, the kit looks well nice. Look. It's not actually officially out, but like it definitely is going to be because the badge is in the middle. Okay, do you remember? Is that the O two one? Oh four, I remember oh, four. we had, we we had. Oh nice, that, that's the one. That is nice. That is proper like that. Who? What player does that remind you of? It reminds me of Wayne Rooney when he was a kid because we had that that two thousand four. We had with the collar. Yeah, and yeah. it had the red there, and the star was on the arm. But no, I'm I'm definitely buying that kit to um, go with my multitude of football kits that I own. Are you um moving or still looking to move? At some point. Just to get away from the area the that area. I'm in. The area that I'm in. What area would you like to ideally move to? Manchester. No. Uh, like, <laughs> I'd like to live in Manchester and have like a thing, but I, th- I like Bispim and Cleveley's because mm. it's quite quiet. Near it was. That's it's not sh- the reason. No, no, but like, it's a benefit. It is a benefit, but like, just I want to get out of the. Like, I'd happily live in St. Anne's. Mm. That's also really nice. It's where you grew up, isn't it? Really? Mm. Just before that. Maybe, no, I'm, I've always been sort of like, because I used to live around the corner from here. Well, I was just about to say, you live around the corner from here before we were friends and then you moved away and then we were friends. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's just like, I can't be friends with him. No. I can't be friends with him. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be friends with him. <laughs> Who's that? An impression? Like, like of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't be friends with him. No, no, no. Um... I watched World's End the other day. I've only seen it once. I've seen it once in the odd scenes, but Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. No, I know Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead are there, but World's End is Shit. unlike any other film. Yeah, It's just got so it's many r- good quotes. Like, I just like the one where it's like, oh, fuck off, you big lamp! Yeah, no, there's, there's a scene like... where, you know, we start scrapping with them twins in the back in the, um, the back of that pub, and he goes, right, we need to go back in because someone's going to come out and say, say what's going on, and then someone walks out and goes, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's, it's so just clever. Stupid. I like the one where he's just like, he's drinking fucking rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. If I, yeah, it's, I'm glad they made that third one. I but, just think it could have been better. Yeah, of course it could have been. But you don't, it shouldn't have been compared to Hot Fuzz because that, <laughs> there is not one unfunny word in that film. No. New. New. That's probably one we I quote knew. the most. Out of all of our friends. I, I, one of my favourite quotes from Hot Fuzz will always be, it was just like, right, I'm taking it to the station. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, just like, oh, it's a Japanese piece, Lily. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah. <laughs> why is that in yeah. there? I Can just... I get your autograph for the breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just so clever. Like what, the, cuts, the quick cut scene. What film would you like to have been a part of making it? My work on worked on, and be in or just worked on filming whatever. Just be there to be f- because Lord, comedy- of Ra- Lord of Rings because to go to New Zealand. Yeah, that's true. Like that would just be insane, I think. And plus, it's obviously my favorite films. Yeah, I was annoyed. You know when they did the Hobbits and on Peter Jackson's YouTube, he put all the behind the scenes stuff. He stopped doing it. For like from Desolation of Smile onwards, and I was like, "Where the fuck are the rest of them?" They're all on the appendices. Oh, okay. On the you know the deluxe of the Hobbit nerd. Yeah, I've got them. To be fair, if I had my own flat, I'd probably collect things like that. But well, I've got a big Blu-ray collection. It's too big. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting Blu-rays of Blu-rays. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna have to upgrade to UHD soon. See, so, yeah, that's the thing, you'll never, it'll always be getting better and better. I thought, is that a new thing now? They do them in UHD, DVD. Yeah, but I don't have, until I get PlayStation 5, I, I don't have anything that can play UHD. But when I get my PlayStation 5, 
When is that? Uh, fall next year, so it's around October, November time, I think. Fall. I don't know why they call it fall. Because leaves fall. The, it's fall. It's the end of the year. It falls off the year. The year falls off itself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they call it yeah. fall. The because the leaves fall off the trees. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it. I hate, I hate Americans. <laughs> the only reason that's generally the only reason I'm not going. I, I can't afford it. I just don't want to go to America now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I would like to see you in an American situation. Just you are the most. <laughs> Anti-American. You in your holiday clothes with that round hat that you wore. Where would you wear it? Where the fuck did you wear it? It was York, I think. I look like Jason Mraz. No, you didn't. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what's, your th- what's your favourite holiday we've done? Croatia. Apart from Croatia. That's like saying yeah, Croatia no. and then me giving another answer. I was gonna you let, going, apart from that one as I well. I was going to let you say the other ones and just keep saying apart from that. <laughs> apart from that. Uh, no, Croatia. For me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was like all the all the holidays that have gone on has been have been different. Like I've obviously went, I obviously went to Tenerife and Amsterdam without years, and I also went to Eindhoven without years. But like with the ones we've done, we've done Malta, Amsterdam, Croatia, okay. Krakow, Barcelona. Copenhagen. Copenhagen next week and then we'll see from there like it'll be mm. Kiev probably are we going to do one at the end of this year like a small one like a dam again I'm going Munich fucking hell mate just, bin it. just, just wag it mate don't I, go after America do you really think no, you're going to have any money no, no. <laughs> like that's what that's why we're waiting to like February March time to go Kiev next yeah. year but like my, the thing is each each holiday we've had like the ones we went on Malta had one of the best nights out I've ever had when we yeah. beat Colombia in the World Cup just that whole and like put leather in that footy up and down the yeah. corridor yeah. like that was just that was just so fun because we didn't do any like like Barrett would be sat there Barrett and Finn would be there eating breakfast Harvey would be like sat on the table on Sorry. his phone right, I'm just going to right, I'm going to Tom, I'm going to keep this in. You're, you're live on episode 11, face-to-face. What are you going to say? Hello. <laughs> yeah. That's it, just, who's, on, who's the guest? Uh, he's receding. Oh, is it like me? It's, um, he's receded. and it's, it's, He's got small hair, put it that way. Oh, it's like me, Jordan. <laughs> Hello. Jordan, on holiday, I've just had then I got suntanned on my head in places I've never had before. You got sucked on? Suntanned. I thought you said oh, I got sucked on places on my head I've never been sucked <laughs> on before. I don't want to know about that. I've been holiday back. I got sunburned like right in the middle of my head, which usually is covered by hair, but currently isn't. But it's gone. It's well, it's going. <laughs> Oh, you get you're getting a monkey's ass. <laughs> yeah, I am. Monkey's ass. You, you, I was just so I was, I was ringing because you need to watch. Do you know uh, Wilder Fury? Yeah. Um, the, uh, the that true Jordy with all his mates did one of his like a live accompaniment for that. Yeah. So the whole fight he's just there going, "Fucking kill him!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you and Brown need to do a podcast together and call it "Ball to Bald," and then we lick each Ball other's heads, <laughs> going. Oh. Yeah. Um, what's that fucking Pokemon called? Um, Pikachu. Jigglypuff. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to look like an Oddish, Sam. Remember Oddish? Oh, yes, I know. It's like me with pineapple head, but without the fringe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tom, uh, give, us, give, us a, give us a topic to talk about and I'll leave you. Right, okay. Oh, right, you're getting one over, you bitch. Oh, okay. I don't even you know, just killed someone because he tried to cross the road. Um, you need to discuss... Um, Fucking, I'm not. Fucking. Just doing a bit of, can do that. Of okay, you are going to discuss what criteria would you have to have for you to dump Anna de Armas. What? Right, okay, I get you. You know who she is, the, no. new, the new Bond girl, the one who was in Knives Out. Hmm. 
the, the maid. Have you seen Knives Out? Yeah, I was in the cinema with you. Yeah, so you know what uh, I mean. Is she like the fit one? She's not the same. It's not the same Bond girl. It's it a is. different girl. No, it's not. Yeah, no, it's, it's, the one it's from Spectre. The no, no, the new Bond girl. Oh, the, the oh the, the the black one. No, the, the white one with black hair. The one who's like Cuban. I haven't seen her in any of the posters. I'll show I'll show you a picture of her. But the, what is it, Tom? What criteria we would need to break up with her? I mean, that, that's, that's what she has to do, I guess. So what would you need? Okay. I'd like to I'd like to point out I'm in a committed relationship here, so any thought of any other woman repels me. <laughs> repulses and repels me. I will not be drawn the into this of, misogyny. The thought of other girls repels you. <laughs> it's not that compelling. No, I don't know. Uh, no, I know I know who she is, but I haven't seen her in any Bond posters. Um. What's the new Bond um, called? No Time to I Die. No Time to Die. We had, we had a similar conversation about a uni about what criteria you need to kick Natalie Bowman out of bed. And um, Sean at uni said that oh, she yeah, yeah. social clubs and the bed is over. <laughs> okay. Well, it would take a lot for me. Maybe. I mean, I, mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get into bed for her in the first place. <laughs> Fuck off, Jordan. <laughs> it, would, it, would, it would take murder to get me out of the bed. I think, so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll rescind that and I'll do a better one. Best debut album for any band. Okay. Hybrid theory. Um. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just agree at the outset. Yeah, I think I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Hybrid there theory. we go. These topics are coming thick and fast. This is big talk. Yeah. <laughs> Leonard. Oh, I need to show you Leonard. this. Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> right, please don't shout into the mic. Uh Tom, I found this video you sent me. I've sorted out all the bays, and it was um, you know exactly which one I mean, but I'm gonna play it now for Brown. That's Big Bang Theory intro. Watch. Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> what Sheldon? What Sheldon? What Sheldon? <laughs> Tell me what you see here. Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you probably didn't hear that, Tom, but it was funny. I thought I was just going to say, I heard shit all on Tom, what was that one? The one you made where it's Sheldon when he knocks on the door and he goes, Leonard, Leonard, Leonard! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, give us one more topic, Tom, and then I'll leave you. Um, okay. Um, do you want a funny topic or a fun one? Or a nice, a nice, like, a talky one? Talky one. Talky one. Right, okay. Uh, shitty game show thing. Given a million pounds cash, right? <laughs> Why cash? You've got, you've, got, you've got one year to double it. If you do, you get to keep it. If you don't, you lose it all. So, what, what, what have you got to do? you got to double it. What, what, what would you do? To double one million pounds? In the months. Put it all on black. <laughs> um, I thought these were talky ones. <laughs> I just. What is that? I put it all on black. Yeah. I'd just bin it and just kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just do that anyway. I'd buy 500,000 scratch cards. Yeah. And then I'd employ someone full time, pro rata, with help and pension and all that, to <laughs> scratch them off for a year. I go and free them. But when you get someone else involved, it's always liable to thievery. Is that a word? I don't know. Theft. It's always yeah, liable no, to... It's, it's, it's off Band of Brothers. I will not tolerate thievery in my units. <laughs> I can't impeach you, sir. No. It's your nicest property. The weekend pass is revoked. That's not... Oh, that's David Schwimmer. Yeah, yeah. David Schwimmer is just like, what's this in this dusty power? Your weekend pass is revoked. Christensen! You drank from your canteen. You drank from your canteen, didn't you? <laughs> Right, I'll leave you, Tom. I'll ring you in a bit. Recast Thunder Brothers. That's what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Recast it for today. Okay. Thanks for being civil. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. In answer to his question, I wouldn't change the cast of Band of Brothers. No, I wouldn't. I think it's perfect. Let's else. move on. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he was just like, "Do you want talky ones?" And he give us like a few topics, and it was like, "Done, posted, go." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we could do a recasting. Who would you recast as? Um, Legolas, Aragorn, Gimli. Uh, 
uh, Aragorn it need to be like you, you could probably have a Kit Harrington type bloke yeah but play him just like just, a, the just, a, just a handsome guy with long hair somebody with a nice penis no no I, I think like you need a generally just like a like a, a decent looking guy with long yeah. hair to play an Aragorn type character Aragorn was the modern day no he was the the middle earth geezer wasn't he he was the modern day like he was a me, geezer he was a geezer <laughs> of Liam Gallagher he was like the Liam Gallagher of middle earth imagine if Liam Gallagher played him though do, do a comedy version of Lord of the Rings who would play who because Liam Gallagher would be Aragorn <laughs> you mean just like where the fuck's Isengard <laughs> that's Scouse uh, no no it's just like <laughs> <laughs> they're taking the hobbits to Isengard yeah. no. the shire <laughs> <laughs> we can drink far and wide <laughs> we can drink the whole town dry You'll never find a beer so brown, and you never find a beer so brown. Shine! Please stop doing that. If you're going to shout, just fucking go over there and do it. <laughs> shine! <laughs> the Shire! Right, it'd be a good Legolas as a comedy thing, then. As a comedy at Will Ferrell. <laughs> with, a, with a wig on. Yeah. But then Gimli needs someone. Danny DeVito could be Gimli. <laughs> Danny DeVito is Gimli. I'm wasted on cross country. <laughs> we dwarves are natural sprinters. <laughs> Very dangerous over short distances. <laughs> um. I just, I think, re, I think, when you, I think when you recast stuff, it's all, it always becomes quite difficult yeah, because you, you can never, imagine. you can never imagine like something that you deem to be so perfect with anyone else doing no. it, even if it was like comedy. I think it's difficult. Mm. Funny though. All right then, I'll ask you. What's your? You know, like Tom said, obviously greatest debut album of all time. I, I would what would you? It. What would you do? Is your f- favorite five debut albums of all time? So Hybrid Theory is definitely one. I think Foo Fighters has got to be considered in there. I don't think it's as strong as their later albums. The no, actual debut album. As debut albums go, it's got a good few songs on there. I just think if a, if a debut album's considered insane it has to be tracked through like 10 11 12 has to be solid and i think there's some tracks on foo fighters that's like in my opinion if i listen to it i live i listen to about two or three songs off that album like big is it big me's on that album uh for all the cows that's the second one i can't remember alone an easy target I, j- I just see exactly like we're trying to think of it like yeah. i could Shit, you could mate. rattle off hybrid theory from start to finish pretty yeah. much Chris Stapleton's debut album was good. You know, he started off as like a writer and people were like, you should do it yourself. So he was like, right, okay. And just like fucking wrote an album. Um, uh, definitely, maybe. Uh, no, I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that has to yeah. be considered as one of the best debuts. I, I, I know you don't like him, but I'd say Arctic Monkeys. Yeah. That, no, I that, don't, that I don't fir- not like him. I just... That first album, like I think, is like it's like when we one of my favorite bands is Muse, but would I consider their no. debut album no. as strong as any of their other albums? I'd say it's the weakest of all of them. Greta Van Fleet. It's a good album, but it is Zeppelin. It's not. It is Zeppelin. You listen to Greta Van Fleet. It is Zeppelin. Well, say, uh, I mean, I love I love that, but you could say Cortina's or Oasis. No, because it, to- it no because like when you listen to him, like Greta Van Fleet and Led Zeppelin side to side, they are. Greta Van Fleet are a mirror image of them whereas Cortina's aren't in my opinion they are but your opinion's wrong <laughs> as we know <laughs> from experience um, no I'd, I'd say hybrid theory and definitely maybe I'd definitely maybe <laughs> <laughs> how do you reckon they came up with that they were like I'm trying to think of like <laughs> possibly <I've>, certain <laughs> or definitely maybe or De- I was just like definitely yeah maybe, maybe. <laughs> it was like that's it. Yeah. That's the album title. Fucking proper bowl. Banger after banger <laughs> after banger. No, um, I think I'm so happy that Barcelona, when we went, we just kept speaking in bank. Like, go to the bar and get me a sangria. A sangria to go with me paella. <laughs> and I'm here with me fellas. <laughs> that was it. It was, it was Joe. Paella, put, jo- Joe fella. put it as his thing, didn't yeah. he? put... It's, paella fellas. It was sangria paella with the fellas or something like that. And there's one more. We just put enjoy the holiday. No. 
Estrella. Yeah. <laughs> it's just having that first swig of Estrella. What do you think? Right, okay. From each holiday, what... Not so much quote, but thing do you take from it that's different for each one? Like, Amsterdam was diamonds, wasn't it? <laughs> diamonds. Like, the, di- like- the diamond factory like was just so poor, but it gave birth to a quote that will... Yeah forever be funny between the five of us yeah like all we have to do is go eat to each other and just go diamonds yeah and like we know instantly where because it was everything about it was we just... went into this diamond museum i'd heard in places that it was really good but then we just i don't think we were in the mood for it and and it's you don't have to because it was we're five lads in a it was an trip exp- you don't want to go it- to the museum like all the time but we went in and we was like, whoa, Jordan, look. Diamonds, <laughs> diamonds, 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 diamonds. It was, it was yeah, so it, funny. It was, I'd say from uh, in changing in, in not quotes, but changing like, what's Just, the thing yeah, you like, take most from, from a holiday? So yeah. like Zanti, what's the, the main memory you take from Zanti? Uh, I honestly... It's been that long. There's not a quote. Ma- I wouldn't say quote, like just like event or whatever we do, like or a memory. Like for me, for Zanti, I'll always remember. Remember. <laughs> I'll always remember when we were <laughs> on the boat, just the bo- the day on the boat, yeah. when we were all just chilling on the like, and we saw the, no, the I, wall for the first time and we played Jurassic Park. For me. That's the memory for me and jumping off that rock. For me, it's the restaurant, the Canadian guy. The first restaurant. The guy who was like, Doing us deals and doing us vodka slushes and yeah, that. Yeah, we went three nights. But that, didn't well, we? that was such a fun. Like, it just proves that any situation you put our friend group in, it will just be fun no matter what. It was good. It was good. Excuse me. But like, so Amsterdam was diamonds. But that, that's not the memory I take from Dam. No, like, no. But that's that's one we all take from it collectively. Yeah. The memory I take from Amsterdam when we went. Like it was obviously not just the city itself, but like the thing that sticks in my mind the most is when we were uh, yeah, in it. our room and we were playing the video of the guy. Oh, with, like Harry. We were just like, I've been taught to yeah. take pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were, we were just watching that video no. in half speed and he was just going, what? I've got a, a separate was, thing. I love that. A nice little um, spear into another conversation. Do you remember the toilets in Amsterdam? Yeah, where it sort of served you your poo <laughs> in the morning. It was just like because the thing Why is when when a, when a poo is above the water, it smells more. When it's in the water, it sort of like rids it it's of protected. its of its smell. But like in Amsterdam, in those toilets when we were there, you'd poo, and usually you get like it was a, poo a shelf. splash. You get you either get a splash and a little bit of a wash yeah. when you have a poo. Was it Whereas, Poseidon's kiss? Yeah, the water goes like that. <laughs> But, but like it just sort of like it you just went and you heard no noise because it was just on a plate yeah and like and then you and then you get and no, then we you, need to explain it it's like bowl and there's like a flat bit and then the water was there so your poo went there and then the water flushed it down the hole yeah rather than it the hole being. was usually at the back but in amsterdam it was at the front yeah. so you pooed onto <laughs> the this little pl- something about talking this, about poo i just really this, enjoyed this little plate <laughs> and like i remember like a couple of mornings because our poo hole was next to our room so you could actually smell it as you come out of our room so i remember going first thing in the morning because it was two next to each other two two poo dorms next to each other <laughs> poo rooms. and i remember i remember the first time i did it i'm thinking oh that toilet looks weird and then looked at I'd, I'd done like a it was just a lot of a lot of a lot of shit yeah basically well, and i look down i don't it. think anyone doesn't do a poo and then when they go to flush it look at it no everyone looks at it I, I look I looked down at it and was just like I, I looked at it and was just like I have to take a photo of that and show the lads. <laughs> like that that and is that is exactly what I did and the photo does still exist. No. It please it, of, course, of course it does. Put it as your profile picture. <laughs> but <laughs> like this, this is my making. But it stunk as well. But yeah. then when you flush the toilet, it, it sort of like picked it up and dragged <laughs> it down. And it was did like it move, Bye poo! Did it move as one? continuous it, like sometimes ship. it's like it went like underneath and ju- poo. it's like your poo just went <laughs> and then and then you're just left with the the smell but when it's your poo you don't mind it no when it's someone else's you're like oh, bloody stinks that yeah mate. it's your own flavors you, you you're used to them yeah and like i just that that's one of the memories as, as well from amsterdam we'll come back to that website after we've finished yeah. the, the holiday things malta 
Walter. Memory. What's the the main? I seem to remember us doing the indie face a lot in Malta. Yeah, we was when we was waiting for the bus to go to yeah. the Columbia game. There's a lot of pictures there, and we're all like, "I'll insert the pictures," even though no one cares. Yeah, that's been going for years though. That indie Zanty. face. There's a couple of photos from Zanty. Remember? Yeah. Where's the indie face? But I'd I'd say my my biggest memory was obviously from from Malta was the England. win the win England against Colombia. Yeah. What a night! Um, what a night! Oh well, no, no 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 no. My memory from Malta is playing footy on that beach with holding a Corona and playing <laughs> footy on that beach with Joe and you and Barrett and like everyone like you go to the sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good day. That that was that was a hot day, and I remember distinctly. I was trying to watch because I, when you guys were all playing and stuff like that, I kind of wanted to watch the footy as well because obviously it was, it was Mexico Cup. Brazil. It wasn't was it? Mexico Brazil. I remember just like because it was yeah, you literally had to watch it like. That yeah, because it was like a little. little um, so I was watching the, the game from that and like just that whole holiday. We, we, I think we watched every game. Yeah, at some, do you remember at watching some point. The, Was it Spain Argentina and that Pavard scored that fucking screamer? Uh, Fran- France Argentina. Yeah, he, the, that what a game that was. I remember where we watched it and everything. It wasn't like four all, four three or something. At one of the games I enjoyed the it most as Valle- well. Oh. Spain, Russia in Valletta. Yes. And it went to penalties. Didn't Russia win? And Russia won on penalties. Yeah. And I, I just remember going, we would... Akin Feyev. Because it was a World Cup of like upsets, wasn't it? And we were just and like... Penalties. We were like, what is going on this World Cup? And then we were thinking like, it's coming home. Yeah. It's coming out. <sighs> what could have been? But like, my whole memories from that holiday is the World Cup. It was a great summer and, and just... Yeah. that That's my memories from Malta. Croatia. Oh, so many. Vlogs. To, that's what I take from the holiday. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> so many. Like, because it was two weeks of just the three of us being idiots, yeah. and yet just I, I, one of the memories that always sticks into my head, like what I first think of when you say what's the first thing. Yeah, you just, think yeah, of, yeah, that's what the whole point is. It? Um, is when we ignored each other for an entire like hour to an hour and a half because we we're that hungry, we we're absolutely starving. It was in that restaurant, wasn't it? And we waited for eight, and we was like, should we go in here? <laughs> and, we were, and we we went in there and we waited for ages and the food was just taking forever and we were we, the three of us was sat there and we were, we were just like a bit we weren't moody with each other we were just moody in general it just was hungry the, it was the end of the day and we were just like hungry and we just I want, want food and I want to go to sleep yeah so. and we were just ignored each other it was all on our phones when we were in the restaurant and then anyway <laughs> the food came and as soon as it was placed on the table we were like Hey mate, pass the sauce. Yeah, yeah, and like yeah. we were like, yeah, yeah. Oh, what are we gonna do tomorrow? It's like it's literally like we just got injected that, with something. What, what happened in that yeah. hour? Like yeah. it, it was. It, but that just like some like that holiday. There's, there's enjoyed, things, there's there's things so many, that are in your mind that you can't get out. Like I think with Croatia, it, it, it had so many like moments. Like the Zadar itself. It what a, it a, what a surprise, an amazing what it? an amazing place. We didn't think it'd be as good as what it was. No, like that old town watching the sunset and. Yep all that sort of stuff. Then we had the drive to split. And after Zadar, because it was that good, I thought, how can split compete with, with it was, that? It was completely different. And then it was completely different and just as good, but in a completely different way. Mm. Like, and it was, I love split. And we obviously went to the stadium yeah, as well and like did that massive mountain walk. And then, Brach, and then it rained. I remember oh, yeah. it absolutely chucked it down. Because we're on the, yeah. And then Dom nearly had a fight with that guy because oh, yeah. he was on his bike coming down the thing and he went, it's a road. Yeah. And then, like, he, he came back and I was, I was just like, oh, not now. Yeah, Please don't get stabbed. His ginger aggression took over, didn't it? Yeah. And, like, obviously, we went to Plitvice as well, where oh, I nearly yeah. snapped my ankle. That was so funny. Then the drive to Brash. I remember actually being terrified on that drive. It was a horrible drive. Like, I, I, was, a, I was in the front, I think, yeah. on that drive. And I, was, I didn't enjoy... That drive because there was it was literally a really small road and it everyone a, drove like a maniac and it was a sheer drop. It was like a Top Gear episode, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. As soon as we got there, it was like it was it was piping hot in Bratch. Yeah, it? I remember it being absolutely piping hot. The sea there was lovely. Yeah, that big inflatable that was fun. That was really really fun. And then yeah. I remember we were supposed to go to Macarska Mountain. I'm glad we didn't. No, I know, but it was good that we saw that it would have been hard to. We got to see that little in. village, didn't we? In Brash, where the ferry picked us up, yeah, we had to walk around. We saw the like the we had a little walk around there, got some That's food, a, and yeah. we got that old face app. Oh yeah, that was when that was just coming out, wasn't it? Yeah. Then we did the 
they obviously the, that was quite a good drive that from obviously through Bosnia yeah and stuff like that and then yeah. Dubrovnik was just saved the best Somehow. to last yeah yeah it was it was clockwork that wasn't it that holiday it was like it was clockwork. so well planned and it was so quickly planned hmm. like we literally had the idea then we booked it then we got the hotels and we said right what we're we doing we got this 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 and we did it and we had it sorted in like a month two mm. two months well we had the main basis done very very quickly yeah like that's why i think like when you go to america like if you just stick by planning like that mm. you'll it'll work like clockwork yeah like i don't i i can't really do holidays where it's like let's go somewhere but then you haven't planned anything any days like if it's a big holiday like if, now we're going to copenhagen that's fine because a few days in a city which you fine with but if you go to like if or if you like i just had that thought in my head then if you're going to like benedon for a week and you just go in there and it's like you know what you're doing you're just lying there yeah well i'm just trying to think like that that's the way i like to do holidays is just write what is there and then i can choose when i'm there it's like copenhagen where like we got a plan mm. pretty much together because we, we are going to buy that city pass for two days and then do a couple of days mm. and then like the, we've got like three free days basically like with to do whatever mm. going to malmo malmo on the day but like we've got a pretty much a, a plan mm. it's the same with like barcelona we had even though it was like four days or three days mm. it was but yeah very it, meticulously planned but it's it's loosely planned as well and it? it's like we'll do this but it's never strictly planned it's always this is what we'll do on the day not not this is what we'll do at this time if you get yeah. me coming back to your question though the the thing that i remember most about croatia was Probably either breaking my legs or breaking my ankle or the the stairs like them that three hundred step in yeah. Dubrovnik that was incredible. Was that That's my first thing when I think was that because that was was that the count because we all tried to count it didn't we? Me no. and Dom got exactly the same. You got somewhat nowhere near because <laughs> I, I lost count. You just lost time. count and just went. Well, I was like, oh, four hundred. Yeah, wow. exactly. Like, yeah, Krakow. Um, <laughs> I know mine. My, first thing I think of is yeah, obviously that strip Auschwitz, club. that strip club, and you yeah. around a toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're my they're the the things that pop into my head. For me, well, the first thing that came into my head, but I didn't, I couldn't get the words out. It was every time we went into a pub when you were like, "How much is that pint?" It's eight, it's like eight quid. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it off. That's well expensive. It's like Croatia. Remember it because the currency was even worse in Croatia. Yeah. And it was like a yogurt for seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. <laughs> what, what was the currency? Kuna. Seventeen kuna. So it was just like it said seventeen zero zero. It's like yogurt seventeen quid. Yeah. Fuck, that was bloody ridiculous. Yeah, but like coming back here, and then you realise it's like fifty p. Yeah, but it's only <laughs> it's only funny like after the twentieth time, like the first time you do it, it's like Jordan, it's because it's foreign currency. But like when you're a week into the holiday, and you're like twenty five quid for some crisps. <laughs> <It's still funny. laughs> That's why Copenhagen, because the it's a lot worse in there. It's literally like a hundred. Yeah. For like <laughs> something that'll cost you three pound. It's a hundred. <laughs> How much is? quid no. what for flake yeah so how much is it 100 <laughs> but go on what's you what did what's your, your memories from krakow krakow is either that the foreign currency thing or the strip club just that that night when we ran away from that woman on the street <laughs> i'm so glad you did that with me i love it, it. Just, we, imagine we, it from we their lo- point of view they start barring with people and two of them just sprint off like i, I just remember like because you was on this side of me and we both just sort of went and then ran <laughs> just ran off like and then we lost him and then we couldn't find him and it turns out they'd already gone to the strip club i thought i've still got that leaflet that i do i've still got the receipt <laughs> like one one set of tits for like 70 quid <laughs> no that that beer wise that place was amazing yeah well it i think yeah, it was the you... equ- i think it was the equivalent of a tenner well, a tenner for unlimited drinks wasn't it 50 for the table 50 quid we worked it out to yeah be. we split like because you paid yeah i think if we split a tenner each because it was unlimited, that buzzer. unlimited drinks and the woman hated me because yeah. i was just necking loads of pints and then pressing the buzzer i remember i was pressing it and they weren't bringing me a drink and she came over with a glass and put it over the buzzer i was just like stop and i was just like well where's my pint then yeah, yeah, yeah. like i want my pint pour it then <laughs> just that that was an, another one of my favorite yeah. nights out my other 
three of my favorite nights out have all been abroad. There was the, Barca. There was the. Was uh, now, there was, was the it? yeah no the Barca one. The there was the World Cup one in Malta, the the strip club night at Krakow, and that night in Barcelona. Yeah. Where we went. Oh, it was my on my birth my actual birthday. That whole day was insane. Yeah. New camp first thing in the morning, get back to the apartment, and then we go to uh, Axe the, Throwing, the big church. Yes. And then we walk past Axe Throwing. Go, yes. we'll do that tomorrow. Hard then Rock. we went to Hard Rock Cafe. Then from Hard Rock Cafe we went to the Snook Halls. They had no table, so we just thought, oh, we'll just. And then we started necking the sangrias. Then didn't oh, we? So we started nice. having the sangrias, and playing dominoes. Like was is actually really fun. It was chill, and we, wasn't it? And we faced it, and Ryan FaceTimed as well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, he did. Yeah, we, we did that, and then <laughs> that sounded mint. That noise, and then uh, we obviously played snooker for the entire night. Yeah, and I just think that, and then the walk home was just ridiculous, and we started booting gloves, I think, down the street yeah. in Barcelona, yeah. decking each other, and then just flopping on the floor, mm. and then you fell in the pond. You climbed a statue. Yeah. I chased Dom, and he decked it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I, just, I think one, of, it was just an ins, an insane day. That was one of my f- favorite days, and I'm just so glad it was actually on my actual birthday. Yeah. It was a day that. But I it wasn't like remember. it wasn't planned. It was natural, wasn't it? It wasn't. It wasn't like we knew we were going to go to the church, but that was it. And we and I knew I wanted to go to the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, they were the two things that we do knew that we had to do. And it was it was it was plenty of time that day though. It didn't feel like it. Went we did quickly. so much in that day, and it mm. and it went. Like it was just it was just an insane amazing day like from start to finish i think that whole holiday barcelona was just amazing yeah because it was so short but we filled every day but we, we we were up well early to bed well late it was just it was just an amazing mm. amazing holiday i can't think of any holiday we've ever been on where it's been shit shit there's none there's no holidays there's no real cuz usually you have a day where you go that no, because we do day. a variety of things. We don't always just go out and get pissed. Even that day when me and you went on, I'm so glad you you were the only other person that after went the uh, strip club night. Yeah, and we were. It was the most hungover I think we've ever been. All of us. All of us were bad, but I dragged myself out of bed and I dragged you out as well. We went to that um, coffee place on the corner, yeah. and that was a struggle. Couldn't couldn't even finish a, a mug about that big. Yeah. And couldn't couldn't do it, and then we thought, right, we'll go out for some fresh air, and we were like hanging, we were googling it Polish hangover calls. Polish fresh air, po- good Polish air for me, I think. And then we went into that shop and got that butty, yeah, and the Powerade drink, yeah, and crisps. I remember it took took me about thirty five minutes to eat a packet of crisps. I was I picked out a crisp and it took me like three bites because I was that delicate in my <laughs> belly. I was like, no, it was it was it was horrible but then as soon as as soon as we got to that water for the first time i was like i'm still groggy but i was starting to improve yeah and as soon as we went around the castle like and we were looking over we just i was like i I feel fine now and then dom and finn because harvey was just harvey was a a write-off he spent the night on the streets nearly didn't he we did pretty much he he slept on the doorstep (laughs) (laughs) and then we met like them later and we went for a walk didn't we Mm. I think we just stayed in that night, didn't we? But like, I'm glad that that wasn't a wasted day. For yeah, we us. came home. We, we got... did some. We out of yeah. all of us, I'd say me and you definitely didn't have a wasted day that day. No. But then again, it's some of them. The other lads like to stay in bed and chill, and others that's just how they yeah, like Dom, to spend. Yeah, day. Dom's just got migraine. Yeah, he's probably got migraine now, hasn't he? Yeah, that's why he's not here. Big ginger, <laughs> ginger head. <laughs> Big ginger head. I just thought some of them we have to. Trying to think of one word to describe each of our friends. It's just uh, the nicknames. Yeah. Scotch. Moon. Harvey's clown. Yeah. Finn is broken. Oh. Just just because of his leg, yeah. even though it was years ago. Um, it'll, it'll always be that. Dom. Small. You. You already said Moon. That. <laughs> Harvey. Clown. <laughs> um, no, Barrett. Dorito. Dorito. Yeah. Ryan Brickhead. Just one word, yeah. With a dash. Brick dash head. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one word. Uh, me, bald. Shovel. Shovel. Granddad. 
Take your pick. <laughs> um, what do you think was your worst phase? <laughs> Uh, so, so, <laughs> from some, birth I was just going to say somewhere uh, from around the time I was born to now that's my worst phase yeah, for, 24 the, year yeah. phase that's not over do you reckon it was the uh, the Donna's shoes or the granddad sweaters all of both they were both on at some point <laughs> at one point I think I think Donna I think Donna Donna <laughs> Donay was a delicate stage in my life. It's because I didn't have enough money to buy nice yeah. trainers, so I got budget trainers. And yeah, our if, friends, being our friends, were not sympathetic. No, but, but that's that. That's but we what we I we that. weren't that weren't like, that age to understand that that was why you had them. We just thought. You, oh no, it's still funny now. We though. just thought you picked them because they, they looked cool. Shit. No, I picked them because they were cheap. Yeah, they and were. and they had a blue stripe. Yeah, but no, then they, they, them trainers. Sturdy. They're probably a lot they sturdy. Than them. Good, I don't actually know where Donay's from. Good British make. But um, no, I, no, it, it was. <laughs> it, I just I loved that like you could do anything. Like I remember when you had your car crash. It was like I rang you up and was just like, "Are you all right?" And as soon as you said, "Yeah, I'm fine," it was like, "Fucking idiot! What are you crashing your car yeah, for?" Yeah, exactly. As the lorries, mate. Yeah. Is that what you crash into? That was like, funny. That was a good joke. Just every, everything is just a, a one a giant piss take well, in like, our friendship group. Like when I said to you the other day, do you want to come on the podcast and you just put fuck off? I knew that that was you going, I would love to. <laughs> we we don't, we never have that moment where we're like, I, th- I appreciate well, you as a friend. Have you got our chat open at the moment? I think I said something. I'll like open the, it now. I think I said something the other day about like getting a hotel or something and you just put grow up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. I'm just scrolling up now. There was so, there was something recently where it's just like I've asked a question or you've asked a question and the answer is just like yeah no so Jordan um, I said to him what's the plan tomorrow and he put finish work then come to yours and I put yeah 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 um, if you if we go and run in then bring all your stuff and he put yeah it's all packed and I just put fuck off <laughs> that was like how that conversation ended but like we didn't you didn't reply so it was like a kind of yeah I I remember after um like because I started doing, <laughs> I've started doing park runs and obviously the joke is you listen to John Mayer. And do. do nothing because you're a lazy fat cunt. Yeah. I'd cut that out. <laughs> cut that out. I can't <laughs> have the same. No, 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 that's fine. Um, and then, and then <laughs> you you text me saying, what are you doing? And it's just after I did like my second park run. And I just put, just sit, sat down listening to John Mayer, yeah. relaxing, wanting to kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how I spent the last year of my life. Um, so I text Brown the other day, before podcast tomorrow, I'm going to do some interviews for this documentary. And he put okay, and then just fuck off, and then that was it. <laughs> then text him for the rest of the day. Um, it's the same across all of our mates, though, and it? it's just like I could, t- I could text Dom saying, uh, "Do you want to come on COD tonight?" And he'll just put "grow up," yeah, and then he'll be online in five minutes. <laughs> but the funny thing is, we laugh at what we our own comments. Yeah, just like when our s- friends' comments aren't funny, but our own. Yeah, but like when you put something to me, and I just go, "Yeah, mate," I'll text saying, "Yeah, mate," and I'll just laugh to myself because it's just so over the top rudeness. Like <laughs> it's like that one that I sent you before about about Asda, and I just <laughs> uh-huh. I just replied, and as I was typing it, I was like, <clears throat> "Yeah," just like proper sniggering to myself. Going, do you think we've got funnier over the years? No. I, I think we we've never been funny. That was an attempt at being funny, and he failed. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're not funny. The only thing that's funny. The is only thing that fi- the only thing that our friendship hairline. groups f- fi- lift your hair up, mate. You've got just about a hairline. You just have hair to cover it. Yeah, don't I don't. Gonna borrow some, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. Got any glue? We'll, <laughs> whenever it's next um, sport relief, we'll do a thing. We'll just get everyone to donate hair, hair to you. Hair relief. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've already been relieved of my hair. No, it's forehead relief, isn't it? Fod relief. No, fod relief. I've already been re- no because it's like like I said, I've already been relieved of my hair. <laughs> that got relieved of after Amsterdam. Yes. I looked at there's a photo of me where I'm like, like that, and it's from a from the top. And I looked at it and thought, I'm getting that off. It needs to go. Have you? Will you go completely? Eventually, eventually. He's into it. Yeah. You can always, what number is it now? One. <laughs> what's your hairline one it's, it's nearly nothing <laughs> there's many men like me many too men. many men yeah. too many men 
but a lot of people grow like beards to compensate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For yeah. lack of hair. Yeah. Anyway, I want to go back to like what what I knew was going to be discussed. I on, think we've got about on ten this. minutes. Exactly. That's why I want to come to it now. Is um there was a website that we used to go on through high school. <laughs> this is what strengthened our friendship. It was, and it was good that I could share this with with another. Yeah, no one what else was in it, what, our friend group and, and, would enjoy it as much as we do. No, but uh, I I don't actually think it exists anymore. Rate my poo. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the, the, the best. best... <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? <laughs> the best part about it <laughs> is the names that yes, they call. Yes. You don't know exactly what I'm going to say next. It's Goliath poo, isn't it? <laughs> we are. The, 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 I love you. <laughs> there, was, there, was one, there was one which was a toilet, but it had poo on the floor, and it was just like, I couldn't. The comment just said, I couldn't stop. <laughs> and he must have ran to the toilet, oh. and it was just falling out of him. <laughs> like a, a, an astonishing rate. I just remember seeing because all the website was was just a picture of shit and then a number from one to ten. And you just click a number, you rate it out of ten, and it'll just go to the next picture of shit. Yeah, and the the the, the titles. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh. no, it's just it's just that Is constantly it? now. Yeah, you just have to rate Donald Trump's gob. Yeah, I'd rate him at a three, and if you press rate next, my poop. <gasps> oh. Is there any way that this can be broadcast to, to, I'm not gonna. to the two people that are watching? That is a long poo. Has it got a name? Skidmark. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Lena with Skidmark. He's got a 5.3. That's right, get pretty on, shit. get on to the next one. I can't, how do you do it? You have to put the star rating in. Yeah. Oh, they've revived Rate My Poo. It's called Rate My <laughs> Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! 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 That's that got that. That's bad. I'm not screen recording this, and I don't want it because this one, <laughs> this one's called bowel cancer, <laughs> and the bog's covered in red splats. I'm not. That is great. Go, go get on to the next. That's one. getting a ten. Let's, let's see what we can do. How do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough. No, no, no. Keep going. Like an no, we we need some more of these because this is like <laughs> my childhood now. <laughs> What's it called? One eye, cor- one eye corn snake. Like, I just want to put the... Because you're not going to actually see what these poos look like. You can only imagine, but it's called the one eye corn snake. Oh, That's no. a poor name. I'm not going for that. That's... Whoa, you've, ch- you've changed. Usually we could go through Rate My Poo for hours. Yeah, but we've, it's good to we've, know that it's back. It's good, to, it's good to know that it's back. Yeah. It's now called RateMyPoop.com. <laughs> it's, it's Please evolved. try it. Please it's, check that out. Yeah. Take anything from this podcast. He's gonna put. He's gonna put the link in here, yeah. so you can watch it. Right, my it's poop. gonna. It's gonna be in, in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Right. <clears throat> oh, that was a good way to end as well. The Medusa Cascade. Oh, well, it's one hour and twenty. That was a that was a good conversation. It's been it's been a pleasure. I'm never doing this again. I hate John Mayer. Podcast of shit. <laughs> <laughs>